Well, good Tuesday to you. It's 12.21 p.m. on the East Coast, which is not the coast that I'm on. Here on Tuesday, uh, March 29th, 2022, we're looking at an incomplete projections for the MLB or the baseball algorithm. Lots to go over today. I've been working diligently and continue to work. And I'll sh we're going to talk about how you update this MLB algorithm because as the season starts on April 7th, I believe, is opening day this year after the, you know, delayed whatever due to strike negotiations, whatever nonsense. They are starting on April 7th, which is like it's 10 days away or something like that. It's pretty close, right? Uh, nine days away, maybe. So how do we get this thing updated? What's going on? Kind of fun to talk about this right now because I could not find lines. I cannot find lines, that, meaning... Sportsbooks are like, I think, not even taking bets on spring training anymore. And I saw lines yesterday on BetUS. So I'm like, well, what's going on? Is it that they haven't published them yet? Uh, when, you, when you go to sports betting in baseball and you show date here, you get games, but you get no lines. You do even get some pictures here. And you could download this and, and then copy it and put it right here like I've already done once today before some of these pictures were, were updated. But point is is there are no lines that, and I think that I think that sports books are deciding not to take a lot of action right now because it's just way, way, way too difficult to predict. And I released a video yesterday and you know they hate being behind me. Like if I'm gonna program something they want to have it <laughs> before before I just randomly release something. I'm like, guess what the score of the game is going to be today after I did all this work? And it's really close. So so anyway, point is there's a ton of work to do. Let me explain why. It's, it's a tremendous amount of work to do. So what's going on is many, many, many players have been traded and are on new teams since the last time I updated this, which I believe was July of 2021. It wasn't even the end of last season. So... I'm way behind because I stopped doing it in the middle of the year. Well, as I'm updating this, um, what happens is you have to go to the lineup sheet, all right? So you go in and you've got now no lineups, all right? So it's a brand new day. Well, RotoWire, I, I, I love RotoWire, I love you guys. Um, they have a lineups, they have a daily, daily lineup sheet. And in here are the lineups they're showing, and, and some of them are not even filled in, like Oakland and the Dodgers. They're not even giving you an estimate yet. The Mets and the Marlins, not even giving you an estimate yet. Texas, not even giving you an estimate yet. So there's going to be some errors already in here. And this is a weird problem. They'll usually give you an estimate during the regular season, but this is a weird problem due to it only being spring training. And the fact that, that, that clearly there's not action really Lot, not betting going on. So that means that that all our projections, in a way, are, are kind of very pure, and I like that. Meaning, whatever happens in the game, I guess, was going to happen in the game, and, and it, there's going to be no money on it, right? So that's interesting um, from a statistical standpoint to do some analysis. Now, what, let's keep going here. So I just pasted these, these lineups and refreshed. And I've already been working with this today, but I am not done. And as you can see, whenever there's a pink error thing over here, this means that the name is not yet in our matrix or, or, it's, or its abbreviation. So we're going to copy all of these. I'm going to start to show you what kind of work goes into this. And also, I did some of this yesterday, but um, I really want to show you the batter's pivot today. I want to go into the batter's pivot and explain what that is and how to get things accurate. So all these people have to be added, apparently. Now, some of these people, their full names are in here. Others are not. And the ones that are not full names, I'm just deleting, clearing for now, and then we're going to have to look them up and put their name. And then we've also got to put teams here. And once we do this, uh, then the errors that are showing up on the lineup sheet, they've already, errors have already gone because we've added the name to the matrix. However, we, we need to do some more things to get the matrix complete. I'll show you one of them real fast, but we're not going to do all of them. I'm not going to bore everybody because there's a lot of work that has to be done after this video. So, for example, C. Hummel. In the lineups here today, I, what I do is I'll, I'll just search the name, um, search the Hummel. 
and you'll find him here, and then you can click on him, and you'll get his full name. Cooper. I wouldn't have guessed that. Cooperstown Hummel. Um, so then you just put that name right here. And the team that this person's on is the, the Arizona Diamondbacks, looks like. So they're on Arizona. And you got to fill in all the teams and all the proper names for these people in order to get everything right. Now let me ex explain if we don't finish these guys off here, which is what we're, we're not finishing off the, the teams and everything right now, the names. Well, here's where that is reflected in an incomplete roster. So the batters tab is really important for checking to make sure that you've got a full and complete roster for the games because this is where our lineup factor comes from. And the, and the lineup factor is really important. The lineup factor is this number. The lineup factor has to do with all the players that are scheduled in the lineup to play and what their like, you know, batting contributions and, and playing contributions are that are represented in this number where the greener the number, the better, the redder the number, the, the less contribu contribution they're putting in, you know, the higher the numbers are better. Um, and so it's got the Yankees way up here, but also this is the actual lineup right here is the, the, the order, the batting order is one through nine. And, and, and so, and then there's a count and I'll explain what the count's all about in a second. So basically on the Yankees, you have a roster that looks like this and you can even really, really do it like that. Um, so this roster has nine people. Okay, even though it says Joey Gallo 2, and also Joey Gallo's number is really high, and I'll explain why that is. So if you double-click this number, you're going to see there's two records that are contributing to, to Joey Gallo, Gallo, basically. And it's because he was traded through the year last year. And really, you need to combine these numbers to give a truer representation instead of duplicating mm -hmm. his effort because he was a traded player. Um, this distorts the Yankees and, and it distorts his contribution a little bit because players that have been traded are kind of doubled in certain elements of the calculation. So that's something that can be worked on to make this thing cleaner when you have trades. However, trades are really complicated. It becomes difficult in this file. I just noticed something weird. Hold on. we got two people in the eighth spot. That's not right unless they're playing a doubleheader today. Are they playing a doubleheader today, first of all? Uh, at spring training, would you do that? Uh, no second Yankees game. So, so okay, so here's a problem. Um, you've got two people in the eighth spot, and that would be represented by this two right here. So you're not supposed to have, you're supposed to have ones all across unless a player was traded like Joey Gallo. But what's going on here in the eighth spot is that Marwin Gonzalez and Tyler Wade are both listed on the Yankees. Well, one of them is not on the Yankees. It's Tyler Wade. So who does Tyler Wade play for now? He plays for the Angels. So you know what we have to do? So we have to fix that. We have to find Tyler Wade in the Matrix. And he now plays for the Angels. And his stats from last year, which is under the player stats, are now Angels. We'll see if he exists twice. He doesn't. Now when you do that, watch what happens. Tyler Wade is going to disappear. Bye, Tyler. Where are you? You're now on the Angels if the Angels are playing today. Are they? Uh, they are. And he's going to be right there in the eighth spot in that. So that that's how you change a player and uh, change where they are in the Matrix team. Sometimes you have to add them. Sometimes you have to change their team. And right now we're, we're using only last year's stats. Uh, 2021 to get a projection for the you know opening day we have to use some stats from somewhere so we're going to use last year's stats which is going to have everybody except for rookies who are going to have no stats we'll have everybody else and we're going to clean that up to get the true projection and have the correct number here the batter's pivot so going through all the teams playing today at least and getting their lineups Clean. As you can see, things are a mess. The Cubs are a mess. I don't understand what's going on. Like, why do we have nobody on the Cubs? Like, they must be playing a bunch of different people. And who got traded? Wilson Contreras or Chris Bryant? Cubs? Did they have a lineup yet? Uh, here we go. Did Chris Bryant get traded? Uh-oh. I think that's what happened. Let's find out. 
Memphis Fry. He is now a Colorado Rocky. Wow, things you learn when you're working on this. So, uh, Colorado, and then we gotta change his stats in the players to Colorado. So there are, uh, I'm sure, hundreds, I would imagine, of actual changes that I need to have make to be making in here as we see the restructure of all these teams line them up and get the proper projection. This is why I can't even provide anything reasonable yet. And really, yesterday's was a joke if you, if you look at how all the rosters were all screwed up in the batter's pivot. There's one guy, Eric, you're the man. It's one guy who bought the first version. You know, and I'm, I'm sending him updates here as we go, but he got the version yesterday. If you look at what the batter's pivot looked like yesterday, it was... Uh, I mean, a checkerboard mess of white and, uh, and twos and just people on the wrong teams everywhere. Like, it was completely wrong. And that means that all the matchups and all the lineup factors were a joke yesterday, if you look at the video. So, um, fixing all this up is what I'm going to do. You can see this is going to take hours, actually. I mean, when you realize how many trades are really in here and to get the matrix completely accurate for the year, we're not even going to know until the games start happening and we get a true, um, a true player stat uh, for 2022 in here and start cross-referencing that true player stats, teams and stuff, with our matrix. It's the only way we're really going to get a complete list of who's on what team um, because it's just, it's just like there are trades and there are moves and there are people going down to the minors and back up every single day on every single team. And so that is a dynamic data set that you only can kind of look back at yesterday to see what happened and record it to predict who might play today. It's pretty nuts. Um, all right, so that's why baseball is so difficult. So I will continue to do this and I will post a snapshot when I get this done today. And if you want to copy and start following along, this is starting to look like something and certainly there's value in a... Um, there's there's super there's a lot of value in a correct team matrix sheet and also to identify where your rookies are like I know the number two spot two spot on Kansas City I believe is a guy named Bobby Witt I need to add him basically with fake stats somewhere in here in the player stats and, and see what works see if that works um, Kansas City I don't know he plays uh, 22, I have no idea. Um, I'll give him one game, and a bunch of zeros, and see what happens. He should then show up here in the batter's pivot. Yep, and there he is. So we can just add rookies and give them nothing. I mean, which is not correct, but I don't know what to do with a rookie, right? Um, we'll know after the first game. So anyway, going through all this takes a while. <laughs> so I'm going to do it um, because... I do have an hour or whatever. We'll see if I can bang it all out and get a uh, like some type of projection up for the day. Haven't even worked in injuries yet. A million other things to do. But we're coming along. So that's day two of how to update the MLB algorithm as it um, progresses here in spring training. Good luck. And may all your picks be winning.